you know, there's been a lot said about Flair, you know. Just you know, you can see what a pathetic piece of garbage he is just by just by what happened to, to him with the assault charges. What a pathetic piece of garbage. You know, here was a guy, let me tell you something about him. Uh, since he since he stands to make the news these days. Here's a piece of pathetic crap that at one time I really looked up to. You remember when I was talking to you about my Charlotte days? Mm -hmm. This was, first of all, I was a young kid. To look to see a guy like Flair back then or to any top guys, I was in awe because I'm looking at what I want to be someday. Whether it was my dad as a kid, whether it's a, a guy like Flair who's a top guy, who was a top guy, there were grooming him for the NWA belt at the time. You know, he was charismatic. He treated me very well. I looked up to the guy. I mean, you know, he, he would he would try to help me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then here's a guy in print tell, talks about a guy like my dad, who he couldn't make a pimple on his rear end, says to him, when I saw him in the ring, well, the quote was, uh, the quote was, I think, was, I... How could this guy? I said, I said, Christ! How could this guy be the champion of anything? Saying that about Bruno San Martino, that proved that 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 proved that proved his uh, his his longevity, made his mark in the business. To say something like that into a book, and how dare him try to come up to the arena to shake my dad's hand in Pittsburgh? You know. Mm -hmm. I think I think he's a I think he's a, a gutless piece of garbage, and if I was ever booked against him, I would do my very best to hurt him. I would. If I was booked with him, and 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 here, here, tell, Vince McMahon sees this. Why don't you book us together? Why don't you give me a good payday, and I'll hurt him. I'll go in the ring and I'll hurt him for for, for saying something like that. I can't believe. That, that, that guy would say something like that about me. I was infuriated when he said that about my dad. Well, how, did, um, how was Flair to you in those, Char in those Charlotte days? He, he was a great guy to me. He, he was a good guy. He, I mean, he, he was very nice to me. Yeah, very nice. I looked up to the guy. I mean, I, I, I liked the way I liked, back then, back then, you know, I liked the way he worked. You know, he was very charismatic. You know, he was... Uh, you know, he was funny. He was, he, you know, he, he, you know, he, he was good to be around. Was there a guy? Uh, you told me. Or, I guess as these guys get older, they change. I don't know. You know, there was a guy you told me earlier that said that. Um, your comment said to them, I think it was a promoter that said, "You're lucky your father had that large uh, percentage of people up north." Oh yeah, well it was him. It was him. It was Flair that said that. I guess somehow, somehow I would get. And that's another thing. I defended my dad as a, as a kid in school, getting, getting get, get, you know, fighting in the, in the schoolyards, and then I'm defending him in territories I'm going. They don't even, they never even acknowledge, you know, I know what people here think in New York, but you know what, my dad doesn't have the respect in other territories. They used to look at guys that worked in New York as lousy workers. Because well, well, when you went to Charlotte, you worked, you worked, you worked harder, you worked at a faster pace. There was more. There was more into your work there. I have to say that. But I would get caught up in these arguments with, with, that I had no even business even being in. But I'm defending either WWF or my dad. And Flair made a comment to me. I remember to this day. He says, "You know, it wasn't actually about my dad. It was about the territory." He says, "You know, uh, they better they they better be thankful for the uh, population." Uh, for the population that they have out there, because that's why they draw it, because of the pop, because there's such a huge population that that's why they sell out everywhere they do. And I says, no, I don't think so. I think they just they do things that people want to see there. You know, I, I I made I made another smart ass comment to them, you know. But again, when you're in my situation, you're always in a no win situation because you're when you're the son of or you're young and and whatever, you know, you're always misunderstood. I've been misunderstood all my life with stuff like that because I'm always defending, I'm always fighting, I'm always defending. You're always misunderstood, you know. You're always in a no win situation.